what I really admire about our territorial acknowledgement is uh, not only the really um, beautifully way it's been crafted, but also the way that we kind of show you the justification for why each line of the acknowledgement is written the way that it is. So if you go to our website, you can see that each line has its own drop down menu where you get a bit of a justification from the people who actually wrote it. And so I think that that's something really special because it speaks to the fact that maybe it'll change in the future, maybe it will be, become more refined or more expansive. Uh, it just allows for a little bit of space for it to grow and change over time. I give it at the beginning of every new class. We talk about it usually in the first couple of classes and we give the acknowledgement in the beginning. It's important because I don't just read it out loud, I then have a conversation with the students around why it is important and I ask them to tell me why they think that it's important to read that or not and we are able to engage in a kind of a dialogue around what it means and I've seen that the students really do understand and that they care about it and that they're engaged in that conversation and that they want to know more about it. We have a lot of students in our classes who are international students as well and so I think it's really great for them to get to see and learn a little bit more about Canadian history no matter what the subject of the class is they get a sense of where it is that they're taking the classes and why it is that land is important having a territorial acknowledgement and making it so prominent throughout the university says to students you're welcome here that this is a space for you that we acknowledge that there is a history that all educational institutions and all institutions in Canada are complicit in and that we have a lot of work to do to make up for that history and I think that having that acknowledgement is that first step towards uh, all the other concrete actions that have to take place uh, to really work towards decolonizing and indigenizing institutions.